Peacock 45 here, and I had a revelation last night, and I still have it this morning. Let's shoot it. How about a two liter? Boom! <laughs> a bolt action shotgun. Whoever heard of that? Uh oh, that cowboy might wish he hadn't heard of it. Yeah, we got him. Yes. A Revelation Model 30. Oh, no, it is a Model 330A. Okay, 330A. And uh, it is a gift to John and us from a good friend of mine many years ago, I think about 20 years ago, and we haven't done a video on it. So we thought we'd get right at it, right? <laughs> 12 years after doing this, and we haven't done a video on this fine shotgun. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about it, and uh, you might want one after you see this one, a bolt action shotgun. So, yep, this is ours, John's. So, uh, but anyway, we're gonna, and uh, bolt action shotgun might be something you're not too familiar with. Uh, although you know, these days we have lever action shotguns, don't we? Gosh, I think even Winchester made one in 410, didn't they? And, uh, and I know Henry does, uh, and there's probably several other outfits now. So I guess I've never owned one. I don't think we've ever, that's, that's on my list to do a lever action shotgun. But anyway, this is a bolt action shotgun. It holds three, you can get three in it. It's for hunting. It's not in a salt firearm. It's for hunting basically. But it's a little awkward to get that third one in unless you really need it. So I just generally put, put two in it. So 410, three inches, it says on around the barrel, uh, three inch shells. And look what else it says, if you see it, but it says Western Auto Supply. Okay, it's a revelation, the brand name, and it has Western Auto Supply. Some of you are not familiar with that. It's a, kind of an auto parts hardware store that, uh, I don't know if there's any left, probably not uh, in the country, but they were big for a long time, kind of like the Radio Shack. There's one in every town. And uh, I've had guns from the, the little 22, the dads that, that, that uh, my mother bought my dad in 1960. You've seen it, uh, the uh, Revelation. Uh, that was bought there, okay, so they, they sold those. And uh, that was the brand name. Now, Revelation, was it made by Revelation? Where's the Revelation Firearms Factory? Is it where you live? Is it in Connecticut? Have you ever seen it? Uh, where's the Western Auto Firearms Factory? Where, does anybody live near that? Do you might remember the Western Auto Firearms Factory or plant? Probably not. Because you know who made these, uh, most of the Revelation Firearms, I think, at least this one? And, uh, well, I say that. I'm thinking of my other 22. The big bolt action 22. They're made by Mossberg. It was made by Mossberg, the Western Field, and this is made by Mossberg. This one, as best I can tell, is a model one, ooh, 138T. The 138s were made, uh, I think I got that number right, correct me if I'm wrong, 138 models were made uh, all through like the 40s and on up into the mid 80s, okay, by Mossberg. There are lots of different models. Some of them had a screw-on choke, and uh, they were all basically like this, though, okay? This one, I think, the 138T, that's Mossberg's designation. Uh, Revelation, the designation is uh, 330 or 338, was made in the 70s, I think the early 70s, okay? And my buddy said he thinks he got this when he was in junior high. Yeah, back in the day when it was junior high, there were no middle schools when I was that age. They were junior highs and uh, or high school. So he had a long, long time. Pretty uh, interesting firearm. And it's, I mean, it's not an expensive firearm. I, you see them for sale, 150 bucks, that kind of thing. Uh, so it's just a gun, maybe a good starter shotgun for a young person or an old person like me to start out with. Let's shoot something else. Well, my, I've got a right here we got some four shot oh let's use some uh what are these uh double triple lot buck let's shoot a couple of those or something we won't shoot a whole lot but just i just wanted to bring it out and show it to you it's one of those firearms that it goes back a ways not an expensive firearm but that maybe some of you have grown up with uh, some of you probably and i'm sure we'll hear from you you had one of these and you probably hunted squirrels or rabbits with it. It's just that kind of gun, little varmint gun. Uh, and get it loaded. It's 
it works. You get the shells in it. Works just fine. I, it feeds very, pretty smoothly once you get the shells in. I'm impressed with the, uh, the bolt action. There we go. You see it looks kind of awkward, but they go right in. Okay. You got your safety just like uh, on my, my rifle, that 22, that big old heavy 22. So let's shoot something here. Uh, I've got triple lot buck. We might hear, uh, let's shoot that far, farthest plate down there. Yeah. Let's try one of those on the gong just for a kick. You want to? Yeah, there's the gong. Okay. See if we can hear it. I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> we got a pellet on the gong. So, uh, you know, that's a. Uh, yeah, those are pretty powerful rounds. So a little, a first a little, little uh, shotgun that you know, a lot of people have probably grown up with. Maybe some of you uh, take that, put a couple of shells, even three, in it, and you know, rabbit hunting, squirrel hunting, uh, an inexpensive uh, shotgun that uh, some of you might have history with. Uh, I really don't personally, uh, but uh, some of you all might. And uh, like I say, made by Mossberg for Western Auto. You know, a lot of that went on, still does. Uh, major manufacturers of firearms make firearms by contract for other outfits to sell them. I don't know anymore where even Walmart will probably be out of the firearms business, you know, uh, for long. And uh, you don't have as much of that with department stores. For example, my 22 bolt gun was uh, Western bought at Montgomery Wards, you know, so it's made for them by Mossberg. So, they would just take a, a firearms manufacturer, just take a, a firearm they already make and maybe just change the model, put another brand on it like Revelation for Western Auto and then sell it through them, but it's the same gun. It's like the pistol I was talking about earlier that uh, my mother bought at Western Auto. That was made by High Standard. It's a standard firearm made by High Standard under a different model name. I forget the name now or number. Uh, but they make it with revelation on the barrel and you know, sell through uh, Western Auto. So let's shoot a couple more. So pretty cool. It's a, you know, just a simple shotgun and just gets the job done. And for those of you, let's shoot a little bird shot, that, uh, you know, again, you may not be able to afford anything really expensive. There's stuff like this out there. If you just need a gun, okay, for whatever purpose uh, might not be your first choice but there are firearms out there uh, if you get to the used the gun shops that have used guns or gun shows there are really affordable firearms that that just work it's just that there's they're not as cool they don't hold as many rounds maybe or something like that but uh, this old this old thing shoots I don't think we've ever had any trouble with it okay let's shoot that Garbage can, what's it doing there? <laughs> Looks like he's been shot before. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously for plinking or hiking through the woods, you'd have a pocket full of uh, ammo and you just have to reload it. I remember a neighbor of mine when I was like, gosh, I was probably 11. Uh, that reminds me, he reached out and I got an email from him, or uh, it was a Facebook, yeah. Uh, a neighbor from way, 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 way back. And uh, we would go back on his property, or mine, or our property. He had a 22, we used to shoot a lot, and it was a, I don't know what it was. You know, I wasn't a gun guy at the time. Winchester, I think, but it was a single shot, 22, bolt action, uh, you know, rifle. So you had to have a 22, put it in there, push the bolt, and fire it and redo that so that sounds really boring to a lot of you but hey it was a gun we thought it was really cool and pretty snazzy all right well, we got two liters that need to be addressed don't we i've got bird shot i'm gonna go for that far one down there and hey it got there <laughs> you notice it hit that one harder let's try this close one what should we shoot at him how about, uh, how about some of this number four shot? That'd be good. That ought to really take him out. 410 is a, 
Is it fun? It's not necessarily any cheaper, is it, than a 20 gauge or, or a 12 gauge, really. 410 can be expensive because not as many people shoot a lot of it, and that's what determines price on a lot of things, isn't it? Uh, but it's a, it's a fun round and it has its place. And there are a lot of handguns chambered in it these days, right? The judge, the governor, uh, the uh, uh, the Derringers, Bond Arms Derringers, and just different things like that. So 410 has had a kind of a rebirth. And you find more uh, interesting shells, you know, in 410 these days. There we go. All right. Let's take out this orange two liter. And let's put another one on the cowboy. Well, let's, uh, let's see, we got the four shot. Let's try that clean disc that has not been shot. Just to give you an idea. At this distance, boom. All right, number four shot. That's what that was, yeah. So, yeah. Like I say, it's a gun. If you, uh, you know, you got somebody in your family or you just wanna do a little hunting, squirrel hunting, get into squirrel hunting or rabbit hunting, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, and and your budget is limited. There are firearms out there, you know. Uh, as I was kind of looking this thing up to to remind myself what I knew about it or didn't know about it, I ran across uh, a few like this, kind of like it. I think some of them had a, a screw choke on them and different things, but looked like they had sold or were selling, you know, 125, 150 bucks, that kind of thing. Uh, uh, so, you know, you can find a gun that works you know that uh, you can get by with uh, that, that's for certain uh, without spending a lot of money generally speaking old firearms just keep on doing what they do you know and of course they can be fixed but they don't break that often you know they're guess what this will be a news flash but firearms really are made to withstand a little bit of abuse right because they're designed to put explosives in and send projectiles out the barrel and have recoil and they have to be made you know fairly uh fairly well you know because there's liability involved and all that sort of thing you might have a small piece break or something but they they tend to work for a lot of years think about all the firearms i have that are vintage firearms you know made 100 years ago 150 years ago they still work generally speaking so uh nothing wrong with a used firearm it's not like buying a used car where quite often there's a bundle of problems just waiting to surface, right? Uh, that's usually not the case. It can be. So uh, anyway, Revelation bought at Western Auto uh, an old 410. Uh, it, it's it's kind of neat, in, uh, just the fact that it is such a budget shotgun, but it works and does exactly what it's supposed to do. You put two or three shells in it. And it's not all that powerful, it's a 410, but it, it could be exactly what somebody needs. You know, you want squirrel hunting, or I'm looking up in a tree for squirrels, or rabbit hunting, something that doesn't recoil a lot. I remember John shot this back right over there when the, those trees were not there. And he was about, I don't know, 10, it was about 20 years ago. And, uh, and it seemed like it recoiled a lot to him at that time. It was kind of funny. But I don't know if he, he may not have shot a shotgun before. It might have been the first time, you know, and uh, thought this would be a good one to take a shot with for the first time. So anyway, uh, cool gun, Western Auto, Revelation. Uh, rings a bell with a lot of you. Western Auto does not ring a bell with a lot of you though, right? But that was just one in every town, like I say. I remember going into the one in, uh, up in Kentucky where we lived and seeing the gun rack and uh, the glass case with handguns behind it. I can see it now, around the left, he's went in the door. And, uh, and even when I was eight or nine or 10, uh, that's where I would head to when uh, we went to the Western Auto, the firearms. Is that hard to believe? Yeah, I didn't think so. Anyway, glad you came by and appreciate your support and supporting the people that support us. And uh, I know all of you will rush out and look for one of these, right? A bolt action 410 that holds two or three rounds. It's just what everybody needs. Life is good. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, 
grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms, you can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballistol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballistol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballistol.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.